on my router, which basically meant that every time my laptop asked to go to a website, they, it, it connected and it sent a little bit of extra information to a USB which stored it all. Um, after a while, I was planning on taking that kind of analyzing and seeing what it said about myself. And then it was actually Chris who uh, mentioned that what is I, IP address, no one really knows, like, it's just something that's there. So I kind of set out with the task of seeing if I could map these IP addresses to real geographic locations. To start off with, I had to learn what IP addresses meant, and really it's very technical and very, very boring. But really the numbers you're looking at is if it's, uh, it's the first, um, uh, either first set of numbers, second set of numbers, or third set of numbers, and those are what log, those are what have a reference to geographic locations, and it gets complicated where, what the different numbers mean. But the reality is um, a very large majority of the numbers mean absolutely nothing. Like they're, they're technical stuff there for the computer. And then you have networks which you can connect to. Um, for the recording of the IP addresses, I, I uh, just installed monitoring, monitoring software on my laptop and went through and created a log. And I actually left it for about. thousand results just of various IPs and a lot of them were repeats and stuff but it's just a huge amount of locations visited in just even that short period of time um, and this is uh, you visiting other people this, this is me this is my website connecting to other ones so I took all that information so is, it, is it people coming in and look at your website no I didn't, I didn't, didn't, you, didn't you were going in that um, you can use analytics software to get that um, which basically records where other people are visiting from. Yeah. But I wanted to see where I personally was going on the internet. Um, so I took that information and... Uh, up a bit. I'll go to PowerPoint up there. P, up a bit, up a bit. That's it, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down there. Okay. Thank you. Um, um. Yeah, so I recorded that all. Um, I figured out roughly 42,000 IP addresses it was using a essentially word count and figuring it out. Um, I decided that that was way too many for me to sit and go through just because it's very boring work. So I took it down to a week, which I used by um, just using my internet history and figuring out where the start and end was, and that I had down to roughly 6,000 6, IP addresses. And I then sat with a giant list of them, deleting all the duplicates, so I was left with 162 addresses. because. Facebook appeared probably four or five thousand times out of those six thousand. Not all that proud to say. Um, so I then sat and you can track because every IP address, every network has to be registered to a geographic location. So I sat and figured out where those geographic locations were. Again, it was a lot of just sitting and entering information, in. and I found seventy-one cities around the around the world, basically, which which corresponded to these addresses. Um, just from basic anal analyzing, you can tell that the majority of them are in actually California, Texas, East Coast of America. There's nothing in Asia which really surprised me. I was thinking the technology, technological center that it is, there would be tons of servers and networks there, but the reality is there is nothing. And then I, this works. Yeah, I'm at them. So this is, this is my, my internet for the week and all the different locations I visited. Mm -hmm. As I said, there are a lot in California. Um, Did you find that the places that in California and the states were different in kind of their physical geography? Were they all urban? Were they, um, were they res kind of park Xerox research centers or were they rural highways in the, in the mountains? The or? majority of them were in quite major cities. Um, LA, San Francisco, and Texas. Uh, there was San Antonio and Houston quite a few times. New York. Um, and those were for the really major sites like Google, Facebook, YouTube. They were all corresponded to major US cities. 
But I found kind of the more obscure you got, and in fact it, it works on the number system, so the higher number of network you got, it got more and more kind of, um, there were some towns I had never even heard of, I, mean, I can't remember what that one in Iowa was called, but it was really obscure. And when you looked at it, it was literally a cluster of houses, and you can tell it's just a person who set up a little network just for their website. And I found that quite interesting, because in my mind, the internet was always just kind of a server down somewhere in England, which was sending me all the information. But the reality is I am connecting all over the world to get to these places.